how are you? It's Kids Club with Miss Jamie and Miss Josette. And I'm sitting here with some candy tonight because tonight some folks do some stuff to get candy. And, you know, I like to give candy away and I like candy myself. And I've got a huge bag of candy here. Can you see in it? Can you see in my bag of candy? Lots of candy and I love candy, but you know what? There's an important lesson that we can learn from that bag of candy that I just want to share with you. And Pastor Tim talked about it last Sunday and that is about self-control. And self-control is one of those fruits of the spirit that we've talked about before. And self-control is something that we need to have. Poor impulse control is not a good thing. And I know that some days I don't have good self-control and that is something that I am working on. That is one of my things that I'm trying to get my mind to have control over. God told us in the book of Proverbs that a man without self-control is like a city that was broken into and left without walls. So that means that if you don't have self-control, everything is just running willy-nilly. If we don't have self-control, it affects our soul and it affects our heart. When we don't have self-control, it just makes everything be utter chaos. Now think about it. When something is all neat and organized and got some sense of order and, well, basically control, doesn't it make you feel better? Doesn't it work better? Doesn't it just, doesn't it just keep things just running smoother? But when we don't have self-control and when we just make crazy choices and choices that are just out of control and just when we don't keep our tongue in check or when we don't, when we don't have our tongue in check and things come out of our mouth that we don't mean to, that is when stuff is just chaos. So we need to work on having self-control. And one of the ways to be able to have self-control is to ask the Holy Spirit to help guide us and to help us have some of those fruits of the Spirit. We need to be able to work on asking God to give us the ability to avoid situations that we shouldn't do. Now, does that mean that God's going to make sure that those situations don't come before us? Nope. Those situations are still going to happen, but what we need to ask God to do is to help us be in control when those situations come. Now, for me, that's when, for me, who likes to have lots of candy, that's my piece of self-control is going to be not having it around or having smaller amounts of it around so that I just don't go crazy. Now, what I need to do with that is I just need to ask God to help me remember that he doesn't want me to live in chaos and he doesn't want me to not be following the rules. So I need to ask him to help me do that. So boys and girls, I'm going to just ask you this week to work on your step of faith of having self-control. Maybe that's self-control of a behavior that you have. Maybe that's self-control of having a messy room. Maybe that's self-control of eating too much candy. Maybe that's self-control of not doing your schoolwork when you're supposed to. You know, when we follow the order and structure of school, that's what letting things be in control. And we have self-control when we follow that order. But when we don't, do you feel more frantic and stressed out? So we need to work really hard to have more self-control in the areas of our life where we make choices. So try really hard to make good choices this week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye, Kids Club.